Okay, guys, more logic tips. Uh, this is setting the grid. Um, the grid in logic by default is set to 16 Okay, that's the division setting. Okay, because um, in logic, if you don't know, you've got whole bars, like this is a whole bar, cycle ranged, right? And then inside that, you've got quarter beats, that's your beats, and then each beat is divided into divisions. So if we zoom in, we see the default divisions for logic, which is sixteenths. There's one, two, three, four quarter beats in a bar, and each quarter beat is divided into four. So there's our default grid, sixteenths, okay, in a range and piano edit. Now we can change that. Logic needs to be in advanced mode. In preferences, advanced show advanced tools here needs to be ticked. And with it ticked, you can change the LCD display up here to custom. And once it's in custom, we get this bigger LCD display, which shows all the stuff, right? You've got the load meters for the CPU and the hard disk. You've got your MIDI in and out activity indicators. And next to that, we've got the time signature there. And below it is the grid division setting, which is defaulted to 16. So here we can change it to, say, 30 seconds and the grid in a range area and piano edit changes to 30 seconds or 60 fourths and it changes the grid to 60 fourths or we could go with eighths etc now the grid is set to eighths right so you can change your grid here anytime your division okay we can assign that to a key command if we want quite easily because it's quite useful to change the grid when you're doing different things um, for that we need to go to the main logic menu here, key commands edit, and we search for division. Now here you can see there are key commands that you can assign to set the division value to quarters, eighths, sixteenths, thirty seconds, sixty fourths, hundred and twenty eighths, and triplets of those, right? But above that, here we've got set next higher division, set next lower division. So if we assign a key command to each of these, we can step up or down to change our divisions to make them higher or lower any time. And it's um, quite easy to assign these to a simple key command you can remember. So let's set next higher division, select that, learn by key position, latch that. And if we use shift and the number one key, it's not taken by any other key command. Then choose set next lower division learn by key position is still latched here and we use shift and the number two key I mean you can assign those two commands to anything but shift and one and shift and two are not taken by another key command and they're quite easy to remember so now we've assigned key commands to change our division in a higher or lower value right so now we don't need this to be open and change it here right we just use shift and one or shift and two so at the moment we're in sixteenths shift and two and we step to twelfths eighths sixths quarter beats and that's as far as you can go quarter beats so we're stepping down there right with the two and stepping up with shift and one sixth eighths twelfths sixteenths twenty fourths thirty seconds forty eighths sixty fourths ninety six etc okay easy peasy to do that's, that's a useful one to, for changing your grid any time.